All right, so I'm quickly going to show you guys how the snap carbine technology works. Uh, pretty much, I have the spring over here, which I don't have installed in it, so I can demonstrate to you how the piston moves. But basically, the spring will be behind the piston completely, like this, and then it'll be covered up in the back with the stock. I'll show you how to build all these parts, um, but this is the beginning of the video, so it'll be constructed like that. So imagine the spring compressing when I show you how the piston moves backwards. Basically, the piston is the plunger rod in any other gun. It's this PVC piece. The whole body is one and a quarter inch PVC. The piston is one inch PVC. It fits loosely inside the one and a quarter PVC. And you have this um, wooden dowel rod attached to the to the outside, sticking out of the one inch PVC. It's attached on there, so that way you can move it, right? And uh, the way it works is, if you look at uh, my trigger here. Uh, what this trigger is, for those of you that don't know how one of these triggers works, it's a closed pin trigger. So it's literally made out of a closed print. It has a metal L bracket on the bottom of it. I'm actually going to remove this pistol completely so I can show you how it works. Put that there. Okay, so uh, you, you press the L bracket and it moves the closed pin. And as you can see, inside the closed pin on the end is a little pin. It is a what used to be a nail but I trimmed it down so it's not as long and not as sharp as the nail used to be. And that's glued on to the bottom part of the pin, or of the clothespin. And the top part of the clothespin is attached to the gun itself. So that way when you press the clothespin, it pulls the nail out of the inside of the gun. If you look in there, uh, there we go, there's a nice close-up. So when I pull, that's what happens. And what that does is, when the the piston itself, this is what the piston looks like. It creates an air seal. Right now, I'm using uh, creating an air seal with a long shot plunger head. Uh, that creates a really good air seal inside one and a quarter PVC. And then I've cut it open a lot of the PVC to hollow it out so that way it's lighter. And then drilled a hole on the bottom of it, and that's where the pin is going to connect onto this piston. So when the piston is primed back, the pin slides into that hole and locks it there. So the spring is compressed, the piston is back, and when you pull the trigger, it releases that, the piston, and the spring pushes it forward inside the gun really quickly to push all the air out. So, when this is pushed inside the gun, I'm going to pull the trigger to allow this to move all the way forward. And the, the uh, trigger is pressed downwards because the pin is resting against the bottom of the piston and it's not inside any holes that are drilled inside the piston until you draw the piston back far enough and it, it clicks in and then the piston I keep using the wrong terms the closed pin falls inside that hole on the piston and it collapses and you know it's primed when this pin or when this trigger is all the way up and then when I try pushing on the piston it won't move forward until I press the trigger and push the piston then it moves forward freely. So that's how this mechanism works. So I'm going to tell you, I get you guys in this video how to make the body of the gun, how to make the clothespin style trigger, um, how to assemble the front part onto it that allows you to attach like a barrel onto it. Some CPVC here. So you'll be able to attach a barrel onto it. And I'll tell you how to make the stock. So let's get into the tutorial. So, I was going to begin this tutorial by explaining how to construct the piston itself, but sadly, I lost all of my pictures from my memory card, and cannot give you guys step-by-step -step advice on its construction. Luckily, however, I believe it's pretty self-explanatory, so we're just going to move to the next step of the build. So that means, we will start off making the body piece, which I said earlier is constructed out of one and a quarter inch PVC. For my snap, I cut this to 12 and a half inches in length. Now, Let's move to constructing the front of the blaster that will attach the barrel onto it. Here's a picture of what it looks like when it's done. And here is what it will look like installed in the front of the one and a quarter inch PVC. To build this, you need to telescope the following pieces together. A one by three quarter inch bushing adapter, then a piece of three quarter inch PVC inside of that, then a piece of PSI pipe inside of that. The PSI pipe is the black piece and that will act as a coupler for the barrel attachments. So you group these pieces together 
and then screw the entirety into the front of the body piece once you've wrapped some e-tape around the entire part. Now we build the stock, which will act as a spring rest for when the blaster is completed. To build it, it is very simple. You PVC cement all the pieces that are shown in this picture, and then wrap some electrical tape around the front end so that it fits snugly into the back of the body. And then you finally screw together. Now the next step is to cut a channel in the body piece for the bolt of the piston to guide through. This picture shows what the channel that I have cut looks like. Depending on how long your piston draw is, uh, you will need to make the length of the channel shorter or longer. Now for the catch and trigger assembly, what some people find is the most tr tricky part uh, to get this to be very sturdy and to catch very well. The first thing you do is take a clothespin and drill a hole for the nail to guide through. This picture shows the, the pin pressed and you can see the hole on both sides of it. Next, we take our L bracket and nail and then we install them into position. I used super glue and epoxy, as well as some hot glue, to secure them into place. Next, trim the nail down to size, as seen in this picture. You'll need it to be long enough to get through the hole drilled in the body, and then through the hole drilled in the piston, yet short enough so that way when you depress the trigger all the way, it is pulled far enough out to allow the piston to slide forward all the way. And once this is all installed together, and you've attached yourself uh, a grip and everything, you're pretty much done. And it should work something like this.